Hello, and welcome to another one of my Slab City updates. Uh, this week's been pretty busy as well. Went to the big city of El Centro um, because I decided rather than uh, trying to hook up the 100 watt uh, solar panel system up to the little traveling battery pack that I had, I decided that I was going to go ahead and get uh, uh, a deep cycle battery. So went to El Centro. That was kind of interesting. And the reason why it was interesting because on the way to there, um, the person that was driving got pulled over by the Nyland police because Nyland is pulling every or Imperial County Sheriff's Department, let me correct myself, um, because they've been pretty active uh, in the area lately now that all the snowbirds are coming in and stuff like that. And they actually asked me for my name. And as it turns out, apparently... I have a warrant in New Mexico for perjury, and I've been in New Mexico once, and that was when I came here and I was driving and I was riding on the Greyhound bus through here. Only time I've been in New Mexico. However, uh, they did have my social security and everything about that. However, they didn't want to extradite me. So, yeah, I guess I won't be going to New Mexico anytime soon, because, uh, yeah, I didn't do any perjury, and I really don't want to be arrested for that. So, that was fun. Another thing that was kind of fun is I was setting up uh, my solar system, and as I was connecting the um, solar panel to the control charger after I did that, because so here's what the instructions say for the solar panel that I set up. Um, first, mate the male MC4 connector from the solar panel that has the negative label on it with the female MC4 connector of your adapter kit as shown in sig figure 6.2. All right, so I don't know how many of you are familiar with male and female connectors, but even if you're not, I think it's kind of self-explanatory. In most cases, the male connector will go into the female connector. Seems like common sense, right? However, that's not the case when it comes to the MC4 connectors on this kit. The female goes into the male. So yeah, no wonder why shit got hooked up wrong and, you know, a fire got started. I'm actually kind of pissed at the manufacturer because I don't know if it's actually the MC4 connectors that are to blame or the manufacturer because of faulty uh, um, uh, instructions or what. But yeah, like common sense mm -hmm. says those male, female connectors like... I mean, I'm all for gender, whatever, non-binary, all that sort of stuff. But yes, when we're talking female-male connectors, like, it's pretty fucking plain and simple. I don't know how a company screws that up. All right. So, as I took off the solar panel, uh, or took off the cloth on the solar panel, the wires were crossed, so my charge controller started smoking crazily, and I had to fucking rip the wires out of it before uh, things started on fire. Um, and then, yeah, also another thing that was kind of fun and exciting in the electricity realm is I was like, oh, now that I have uh, the deep cycle battery, um, I will just snip the wires that went to the... Um, old uh, solar panel on my 
portable battery pack i'll snip the wires on that put some alligator clips on it and then i'll just clip that on that that 12 volt battery and and they can be uh, charged up yeah the wire was not thick enough to be handling that so that smoked up on me real quick too so yeah it's been kind of a exciting time here and in fact i felt like i was driving around in uh Pontiac Fiero, you know, we build excitement. Hurry up, get out of the car, it's on fire. Yeah, totally felt that way. So, how about let's do a, a four questions with cause. Hey, welcome to another four questions with cause. We got Nate with us today. Nate, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, so, been coming out to the slabs a few years. Been traveling mostly, um, Moving around. Sometimes I stay places for a little while. Um, we met last year here. Um, I'm just back for the season, possibly longer. Uh -huh. And you've written some books, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah. I won't make you plug it, whether you want to or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been a fun way to like uh, kind of recap some of the experiences I've had the last four, year, five years almost now. Um, so, yeah, it just started as doing something for fun, and now I make few bucks doing it right it helps pay for the van and those those are available on amazon amazon .com. and the names of them are i isn't one uh don't worry i won't kill you i promise i won't kill I you i promise i won't kill you the other one is life on foot cool um, cool i'll have links in the description below so if you want to check them out you go right ahead and if you have no money email me and i'll email you one right on cool cool and uh all right so what brought you to slab city the first time was like on a really uh, very fast road trip with a friend a few years ago. Um, so we kind of drove across the country. He had like 10 days off from work or something. So we kind of just bombed across the country and came here um, on that trip for like a couple of nights. And then I got back to the East Coast and I came pretty much right back out here because I remember, you know, I just loved it here. so. Thought I'd spend the winter here to start, and then I've been coming back now for four years. I don't know. So what is your favorite thing about Slab City? Um, just the, like, kind of laid-back atmosphere. Um, nobody's in too much of a hurry to really do anything. Um, yeah, I just like the kind of laid-back energy here. It's really nice. You know, it's like a weird time warp out here. Mm -hmm. Like I was, yeah, thinking the other day that like the days go by really slow, but the weeks and months go by really fast, which is really weird. Yeah, weeks go by quick. Yeah, but a day seems like it will go on and on forever sometimes. It's yeah, weird. especially when you're here around solstice, summer solstice, the days definitely take forever. We'll find out. Yeah. Yep, yep. I haven't been here for the summer yet. So. Next summer getting ready all right so uh what what has surprised you most about slab city um, i don't know why it's like always surprising but like just that people here are really cool and welcoming for the most part um definitely a lot of people out here to kind of be left alone and that's good i'm kind of a hermit as you know yeah. so like um but everyone's really nice helpful people will help you out um if you need something so yeah, that's like always surprising when you travel to a new place. You know, it's like, wow, the people here are really nice, and it shouldn't be surprising, but mm -hmm. it is sometimes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. All right. And lastly, if there was one thing you could change about Slab City, what would it be? Hmm. Um, that people wouldn't steal other people's shit. That's a big one for me. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to like always be watching your stuff. Um, but, I don't know, it just adds a little character. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you know where your stuff is all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Cool, cool. Well, that's been another uh, Four Questions with Cause. Oh, another thing that happened that was kind of cool, not kind of cool, but pretty cool, is that uh, after uploading my video on Sunday, uh, I came back to my place and uh, kind of have this uh, 
shelter built at the entryway of the eco village and there was a couple of bags of food and a 20 pack of some coca-cola and apparently one of the viewers that has been following me for a while and in fact definitely supports my channel um, pretty much gives me five bucks anytime I put out a video greatly appreciated um, and yeah he was in the area but uh, apparently didn't get a hold of me ahead of time and stuff like that and I was actually at the internet cafe uploading the video of the week and he was here and I had an opportunity to hang and chill and miss that opportunity it would have been real nice I would have loved to have uh, cooked the food that you brought for me um, I invited a couple of people over for dinner Nate and Sean um, we had some sauteed vegetables with pasta uh just straight vegetables no tomato sauce or anything like that it was fucking delicious so thank you thank you so much for uh bringing that out to me and hopefully next time we can catch up and uh actually hang for a bit welcome back so yeah i'm getting other things pretty much wrapped up on uh on the house i do believe i'll have everything under control by Halloween, which is now less than a week away. Um, so I'm excited about that and finally being able to go to the range and some of the other fun stuff that's going on. That's another Slab City update. If you enjoyed uh, the content, please subscribe. If you subscribe already uh, and you'd like to support the channel, please do so in either sending me a few dollars via PayPal, uh, Pick me something up off of my wish list. Share this video. You know, just whatever you can kind of do to support it. Anyways, peace, love, and all that hippie jazz.